Alrighty, so we had a pretty eventful weekend this week for week two of college football. We had Texas versus Alabama. We had, you know, Wisconsin lose to Washington State. We had Colorado keep the momentum going. And so now I just want to break down and give my own personal opinion on who should be ranked in the top 25 and maybe a quick reason and dive into as of why. All right, so let's start with 25 and we'll go to number one. 25, I think there's a lot of teams. You can throw Auburn, you can throw Iowa. I chose Wake Forest just because 25 is one of those positions where it's like next week they could be gone um, or maybe they could stay and climb in the ranks. So I just picked it safe with Wake Forest as of now. 24, I had them jumping into the rankings. They hosted Wisconsin the other day and they were able to get an upset win at home. So no reason to not put them in the top 25. Same with the team ahead of them. At 23, they were able to handle their business against Texas A&M and have a solid win at home in Hard Rock, which I'm pretty happy about that pick because I picked them um, because I thought this was an even game because it's in Miami, but Texas A&M also has the experience. But you know, I'm pretty, so, I'm pretty stoked that I actually picked Miami to win this game. And so they got a lot of momentum rolling into week three as they were able to knock off the Aggies. 22, Clemson. I mean, they got another solid staple win. But again, there's a lot of penalty from their first loss to Duke. And so I don't have them climbing up the boards. 21 is Old Miss. And this is, um, they'd be a lot higher because they beat the rank Tulane. And it was the fashion. Same with Oklahoma and North Carolina. Both of these two teams, they did win it respectfully. But North Carolina could have lost to Appalachian State. And Appalachian State would be in the top 25 and UNC would be out. Same with Oklahoma. They barely beat SMU. So that's why I have these teams staying here at 19, 20, and 21. All right, moving up, 18, Colorado. They continue to prove everybody wrong. And they beat Nebraska this weekend. And Duke handled their business against Lafayette. 16, Oregon State keeps on winning. 15, I would have had them dropping, but it was just, it's weird. Like, I didn't know where to put them. When I looked at the, you go up, you go down, you stay. I put Utah as stay because they did beat Baylor, but it wasn't a flashy win. 14, Kansas State. They're slowly moving up. 13, Oregon. Oregon, along with Utah, I would have had both these teams drop, but they still won. And it was an ugly one against Texas Tech. They let the Red Raiders hang around too much, and that score was way too close for comfort. Number 12 is LSU. They handled Grambling State. Tennessee, they handled their business against Austin Pay, And same with Washington against Tulsa. Number 9 is Ohio State. I mean, I don't see them being better than the eight teams ahead of them, but they are still 2-0 right now. Number 8 is Penn State, and they absolutely handled business against Delaware. But, I mean... There's still a lot of question marks around this team. Number seven, I had Alabama. A lot of people would have them drop so much lower, but to me, Alabama going from three to seven, dropping four spots is perfectly fine because they played a highly ranked team and it was a close game for the majority of it. So for them to drop 15, 20 spots and drop out of the whole tw top 25, not realistic. We all know they're still a top 10 team. All right, number six, I have Notre Dame. They're 3-0 along with USC and, you know, how they handled their business against Navy. And then Tennessee and then playing NC State where, you know what, NC State can always be that shocker upset team. NC State, they've beat Clemson in years past. This game was really close. It was a close dogfight. And then the ability of Sam Hartman to pull away there in the end with that offense, you know, and the, the statements from the defense to stop the Wolfpack momentum. That's why I have Notre Dame jumping up a few spots because personally, I think, you know, right now they're a little bit better than Alabama and Penn State and Ohio State. They're a little bit more set in stone and ready to go moving into these next few weeks. So that's why I had them jumping a few spots. Number five is USC. They are the best team in the Pac-12 right now. They handled their business tenfold against Stanford. Number four I have is the Michigan Wolverines. They are handling business. They're beating, you know, East Carolina, UNLV. But the fashion, these games aren't 45, 50 plus point blowouts. And so to me, by default, they still are a top 14. But I'm intrigued to see once real competition comes, how are they going to fare out against it? Number two, no shocker here. And this is in my personal opinion. I think Quinn Ewer's ability, along with that Texas offense and that defense, man, that defense is stingy. With them having the ability to go into Tuscaloosa, beat Coach Saban, 
there's no other reason to jump them from 11 to 2. It makes sense. They're one of the top three college football teams in the nation right now behind number one, Georgia. And I wanted to debate and be like, oh, you know, put Texas at number one. That's a little bit of an overreaction. Um, Georgia is still the standard right now in college football. But if you ask me with how Texas beat in the fashion that they did, um, yeah, they are the number two team in college football right now. I can't confidently say that USC is better than them. I can't confidently say that Notre Dame is better than them. Same with Michigan and Florida State. Because I feel like if we just dropped everything right now and Texas went and played USC, man, that would be a great rematch of the national championship. But I feel like that would be another low-scoring game or a barn burner where it's a high-scoring affair and Texas ends up winning because they have the better defense than the Trojans. But that's just my opinion on that. Thanks for watching the video. Listen to me ramble this long. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.